Hey everybody, we are back, and this time, a bit of an older game, but it just had some new content dropped, so I thought we would jump in and check it out. This is, for those who don't know, Crusader Kings 2, uh, and we are King Betherwine of Mercia. We own this little salmon-y colored area. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what the objective for the game is going to be this time around. So she's chased too. She's a better all around person. Um, maybe we'll just form like the British, the Empire of Britannia, so basically take over. All of that. All the uh, British Isles. But we'll see what we're going to do with that. Mostly I just want to do see what all the new disease stuff is like without being uh, super boned by the Black Death. Because that's a thing that'll bone us now. Uh, disease came in a real way. And uh, there's a very good chance of dying of disease now. So, that's cool. I hand out these to all of our high-ranking nobles. Put all of our commanders squared away. Excellent. Uh, what can we do here? So shutting the gates, that's one of the new things they got in the game. Uh, when disease breaks out in your territories, you can shut the gates. Say, nope. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going to have any of that. Fine. Fine. Can't hold a feast or a fair. Kind of think of ways of getting our people to like us. Or our, uh, our vassals. Because they're a little upset right now. They're grumpy. The, the council especially. They're going to probably try to force us to do their bidding better. I'm not about that. I'm the king. King is strong, especially with a mustache like that. Yeah, you can't be help thinking you can get that king to do what you want. No way, no how. So first, we're gonna do a little diplomacy. Who needs an attitude adjustment? Oh, we got two people. None of you really like us all that much. You over in Derby, who like us the least and are strong. So we're going to get you on our side, uh, and we are going to watch for factions. So we're going to deploy our Spy Master to limit faction power uh, as soon as that becomes a thing. So we're going to be going slow these first few little while. Uh, if we have to, we can throw down with our bros. we got a bunch of people that owe us because we beat them in war, and uh, now they owe us, essentially. We don't need the money right now. Okay, so who do we got here? Derby. I'm gonna deploy our spy master. You aren't Derby. Do it. I'm gonna deploy our spy master to scheme in Derby and try to get him to knock it off. We may be successful in that. Uh, we might not. Uh, we're gonna set our crown focus. Prosperity is another thing they've introduced into the game. Where if a, a county's been good, uh, you know, no war, no big diseases, uh, you know, things just pretty cool over there, they'll start to um, prosper. They'll make more money. Uh, more people will live there. Uh, but transversely, it'll also mean that uh, there's a better chance for disease. So they just threw down with an ultimatum. And they said, "Hey, give us your money." about that life so we're going to consolidate our forces in the capital here with this guy and we are going to call in all of our dudes be like yo come kill these fools for me we got some council positions that need attending
Well. Oh well, well. You the steward. Hey. You the marshal pro tem. We'll reset all those after the uh, the war is over and the people have been dealt with. Just waiting for those calls to arms to come in. Should be relatively soon. Yep, you're gonna help, you're gonna help, you're gonna help, you're gonna help! Got a lot of help. We're gonna go smash this army coming out of Derby and uh, teach them the error of their ways. I turned off Shattered Retreat because I don't like it. It prolongs wars unnecessarily. I mean, after this first battle is done, I mean, the war is over. Yeah, marry the courtier. That's great. Uh, it's good to be the king, right? I mean, we're fighting a war, but... We got time for uh, we got time for this. You know, it's between battle banging. Uh, let's. There's a lot of flat terrain in England. We'll do that. We've got our bros coming to help us out in this fight. It's kind of a weird system we got going here, where I beat you in war, so you're gonna help me in war. Uh, yeah, they got that fight on lock. We're going to send our army down to Oxford. See if we can end this petty rebellion now. And since it looks like we are secure in our martial position, we will speed things up. Uh, cool. So we got... Another 50 dudes. They're like, hey, we'll fight, we'll fight rebels. Very good, very good. The wound is healed. Chicks dig scars. We got a fancy scar now. And our friends are rocking face. We're going to take out uh, Reading Castle over there in Oxford, and we are going to... Oh, they joined up with us. Where'd the rest of the friendly army go? They've, they've joined up with us. 2,000 people just hanging out. Hanging out in Oxford. I'm going to hold these forces here in Oxford because it's important, more important that uh, we take Oxford than that army survive. Plus, it's not my army, so I don't really care that much. And they're not going to be able to take out uh, Northampton before I can take out Oxford. We'll smash this castle to the ground, and then we'll go take care of those guys. So... Uh, one of the new things they've added to the game, one of the big new things, big flashy thing, is the disease map mode. And when a disease, we got a disease, we got, we got measles. There's measles in Turkey. The Black Death starts somewhere over here and just zips through. And when I've seen from a gameplay, is it will burn down the world pretty quickly. But we're not there yet. We might not get there uh, before I take over. Britain, if I can take over Britain. Um, Anglia. Well, I think we've got this under control, but thank you for the, um, the thought. Okay, we'll smash this army again. We'll leave those guys there for the siege. They just, they just can't stop us. Now we're a flanker.
and their army has been diminished uh, greatly. So we're going to roll in. Oh, we took an injury. Uh, looks like we lost an eye. Uh, they say chick digs scars, but I think they also dig dudes that have eyes. Sure, though. Okay, and we'll just continue. We'll wait for those guys to flee Oxford. And we'll continue taking the capital of the rebellion. And we'll just let those guys do what they do. I mean, they're no threat to us anymore. It is unfortunate that we lost our eye. Okay, so hopefully we can get healed up. Okay, so we're not sick, so we can't go to the court position. We just got a boo-boo. Nothing can be done about it. Hopefully it doesn't get infected. That would be unfortunate and gross. But not having an eye is pretty bad. I have two eyes. I use them both pretty, pretty often. We took our wife to siege, you know. When you go on on campaign, you bring the bring the whole family. It's a family affair, really. Sieging a uh, Buckingham, and uh, it's going fantastically. We have just a few more men than uh, the than the defenders, but apparently that's enough. That is enough people. Buckingham was in Oxford. I thought it was like down here in Middlesex. Down by closer to London. I guess it's not very far away. It's a pretty small island. In terms of absolute distances. Once we take Buckingham, we should that should be game over for the uh the rebels. I think that they can tell me what to do. Hopefully they don't try again. Because that would be rude. <laughs> Somebody liked that joke. Yes, it was a joke. Okay. War's over. Uh, go to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Stand the army down. Got another faction? Really? Really? You just saw what happened. You just saw what happened. You know what, you're too dumb to live. So we're gonna we're gonna plot your death. Because damn. Um we might not be very successful in plotting your death, but we are gonna try to kill you. Uh, that's a thing that's happening. We'll slow it down a little bit. Watch for whoever decides that they need to, uh, uh, whoever decides it's a good idea to jump on that bandwagon. So our pregnant wife and me are having a good old marriage time. And, uh, what's happening? Uh, oh, the guy we threw in prison's like super happy with us. Hey, cool. Cool beans. Oh, this whole being in prison thing's not so bad. Uh, da, da, da. Prison. Now, if we were to ransom you, we would get 70 gold. That'd be pretty easy. Probably... You know, you were just you were just doing what you thought was right. I'll be benevolent. I'll let you out. I'll let you out. Oh, it's only an increase in pain by six. You have to pay me to get out. This other guy, the Earl of Oxford, he can just chill. Just chill in the dungeon. Don't even care.
Okay, so the Earl of Derby is out of prison. He's a little pissed off that he's not on the council. Uh, we're gonna send the Chancellor, bro. We have a better Chancellor now that people aren't rebelling. Ew. We're gonna send him over, make that guy understand just how great of a guy we are. Actually, let's do a review of the whole council. Let's just see if there's no one better here. Okay. Uh, honey dude. Nobody better here. You can go to work. Lyman. Got some people that are better for the job, but they're not on the council. I think we will... Even though he sucks at his job, we're gonna keep the count. Because the council's already a little upset. And the last thing I need is more upset on the council. It's just not... Not digging that. I need to be able to expand and dominate. Territory. What we're looking to do. We could send... Once he's done calming down the Earl of Lindsay, our Chancellor to go fabricate some claims. And if we do that, we're probably going to try to take out Glouch Sire. How are you pronounced? My reasoning here is if we can take that, we can form. Oh, there's a duchy here that uh, has Oxford, uh, Whitshire, and Glouch Shire all in it. We can form that and we can then uh, fight Wessex. For it that'll make us a little bit better um we might go north york's pretty good to have Got flung across the map we'll see we'll see what's going on maybe take whales heard people like whales <coughs> got a daughter got a daughter named that Now where is our marshal and why isn't he training troops to work? We lost a lot of men in that war and we need them so people don't think that they're uh, better than us. Monks over here think they know. We'll just be better than the king. Bye master. Bye master. Send you a gift. Get this faction business to be all... Okay. So now we got a guy who needs some attention. For you, you're that guy. He's pissed because he's not on the council. He thinks he should be on the council. Go send his spy master. Have a little conversation with him. Hopefully, we can stop this war from happening. Because damn, we need these wars. We we need to stop having civil wars. <sighs> That's cool. All the banners. Everyone to Linkster. Uh, all the people. Okay, so we could push for more land, but not while we have our men raised, and I don't really fancy dropping the banners for that. Alright, so we got our favors being pulled in. Let's be honest, if they didn't answer the call, and just crush their skulls. So, there would be that. We're just going to hang out in the capital, let these guys come in, rough them up a bit. Hopefully our reinforcements arrive before theirs do, because that'll be awkward. They did. 
They are in a full retreat. We're gonna end up having half our council in prison if we keep this up. Do something a little underhanded. I'm going to smash their armies. I'm going to drop my banners. I'm going to declare war on this rebel, take his land, and uh, basically just not going to end this war until I own uh, Warwick, Earldom of Warwick. Going to hit random buttons too. Because. So we got scared. Battles are scary. We're scared. We are gonna go back to the capital. Because you can't declare war while you have your armies raised. It's a game balance thing. Uh, if we did that, it would be to You are independent. Oh, you're not. You... Oh, you're fealty to him. We can't declare war on him. Well, it was a good uh, plot. We'll let them take the capital. We will sack Warwick. And life will find a way. Be real nice if they just knock this off. I have to start going on a campaign of um, making people feel better about us. It's a ruler. Are we not going to be able to take Warwick? I don't know. Fine, we'll go over to the capital. Put a little more pressure on them. Or go smash that army because they're dumb. I don't like them. All right. Let's let the army send half of it over there. That way they can't spawn new troops. I don't think they'll spawn troops into a sieging army. That would be silly. 92%. This war is basically over. Plus we can loot these places. Not that one. Maybe this one. Get a little loot out of them. What are we making? Making a... Uh... We're going to make... Maybe 10 ducats. 10 ducats is pretty good. I mean, it's nothing to scream at. It's nothing to write home about, have a parade for, but free money. Little, little castle improvements. Uh, yeah. Castle walls, barracks, get some uh, guys to fight for the king. All that. Since this war is going fantastically, we're just going to speed this up, and we are going to let it ride. Oh, yeah, good. You made him like us more? That's that's good. I would hate for him to not like us. Peasants are being dicks. 
now uh, we've fallen ill with fever. Not good. Uh, oh, apparently a chaplain thinks, or the, uh, the physician thinks I've got cancer. Uh, in order to... I had to fast for a better half of a fortnight, so I had to not eat for a whole week, and apparently not eating cures cancer. That's cool. Didn't know that. I'm not going to hire you to be our spy master because you're an idiot and you don't like me. Oh. Oh. You sad that you're in prison? House arrest. Go me one, buddy. Go me one. Act of dishonor. Are you plotting against me? I'm always plotting against me. tyrannical but they let's lead start a civil war and if I kill you I'm a tyrant okay guys I'm a tyrant let's see here uh, food poisoning and a fever that's cool somehow I got food poisoning by not eating Hey, as long as you know what you're doing, Doc, go nuts. Last time I did that, it didn't work out very well. I had scurvy, so it cut my leg off. Uh, and the cover servant had made the mistake of tasting it in pure form. I was swole up badly, chastised him firmly for it. Yeah. Uh, now it's water and stirred it. Well, apparently mysterious red swelling powder also cures cancer. Uh, we're learning a lot today. I hope doctors are watching so that they can spread this news. We can eradicate cancer with red powder. Tantalizing red powder. That's the important bit, I bet. Right. So how do the vassals feel now? They're probably all pissed off. Yep. Mm -hmm, but they're in prison, so they don't count. And you're not in prison. You do count. Uh, Chancellor, go over there. Uh, oh. Broke up with our lover. The marshal has died. That's sad. Maybe he just went away. Uh, he owes me a favor, so I don't really care about him being upset. We're going to have effective leadership on the council. Them soldier bros up. This guy starts another faction, I'll just have him arrested. But I think those two civil wars got most of the problem solved. How do you feel about me? You are better than your father, in terms of opinion. Looks like we got a disease brewing up north. Uh, violent vomiting. Oh, we're no longer food poisoned. What are you? Smallpox. Smallpox to the north of us. That's that's good. Uh, he likes us for even more. All right, all right, all right. We're getting this realm back on track. Hopefully, our derps will start creating or fabricating, start spreading out their power. Because I'll go to war to expand the realm, even if it helps out one of my uh, 
more cantankerous vassals. So I think that's going to be our, our main target here. Maybe we can marry our way in. Unmarried siblings, children either. We'll see. We will see. But that will have to wait till next time, guys. Uh, as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps us out here. And uh, have a good day.